All right, so I've expanded battle mode for Prop OS 5. Um, so I wanted to do just a quick intro to uh, what's going to be coming. So OS 5 is an alpha. Uh, this will be added as part of that alpha testing. Um, there's a new prop file that you'll enable in your config, which will activate, uh, which will allow you to activate battle mode. Um, but so uh, if you haven't seen prior, um, battle mode essentially uh, takes away the need for buttons for your clash and lockup. And now it also takes away the need for buttons for drag and melt. Um, so I'm going to demo all that. So I've actually already activated battle mode. Um, so with, um, with this prop file, if you use this swing on, you're going to enter battle mode. While in battle mode, if you hit, it, if you hit an object or your opponent's saber and pull away, it's going to do a clash motion. But if you hit the object and stay still, they'll actually do lockup until you pull away. Um, so I'm only going to do it with a single saber for now. But so you, you clash and pull away, and that's gonna, if you hit and pull away, it's going to be essentially the, the, uh, the clash. So it's like that would be a clash. But then if I hit something and stay still, relatively still, you can still move the saber, but if you keep it relatively in the same spot, um, it'll just do lockup. So like so, and you can move, so this is responsive, so this changes based on blade angle. You can still move your saber, but then when you pull away, essentially the lockup ends. So no buttons, no need to worry about buttons. Now it's all gesture controlled in bottom mode. Um, so in addition to that now, I've also, um, drag is going to be different. So typically in your normal prop file, if you're pointing down in clash, you would get a drag. But if you're battling, you do have times where you would block down low. So you're going to want a clash down low. You're also going to want a lockup down low. So you can cross blades down low now. And then the same thing, it's all gesture controlled. So instead now, with the battle mode, your uh, drag is actually going to be a downward stab, which is a, a, a linear motion down. Uh, let me make sure it's on camera. So it's, And this will stay until you lift the saber. Um, so now you can use drag in battle mode, but it's a stab motion, not a clash. So it's a downward stab. And you can still drag along the floor and do all that, but when you lift away, it's going to deactivate. You can also use melt. Now melt is also going to be gesture controlled. So instead of having a hold button for melt, if you stab an object horizontal or up, it'll activate the melt. And you can change the temperature by turning your hilt still, but then when you take it away from the wall or the object, it'll actually deactivate. And it's, again, no buttons with battle mode. Battle mode is supposed to be as realistic as the saber can be. It's all controlled by how you move the saber and gestures. Um, and I've got everything dialed in. So the drag and melt actually um, similar motions to clash and lockup, um, but they're uh, a lot more subtle. So you don't have to do major motions to deactivate either. So for melt, you get your stab, you can do your thing and heat up the object. And then just a slight change in angle away from that object will deactivate melt. And same with the drag. You can, you know, move along you're dragging along the floor and then lifting away is what's going to deactivate it. Um, so I've, I've done a lot of fine tuning and everything for the drag and melt as well as for the lockup and clash to make them feel more natural, feel more realistic, um, and make it more intuitive control. Now, the other part of battle mode is while you're in battle mode, the power button is deactivated. So you can't retract with the power button. This way, if you accidentally hit it while you're doing a duel or something, it doesn't go off. The only way to turn off your saber in battle mode is to either exit battle mode, um, which is just holding aux and swing, and um, and this will toggle. So if you hold aux and swing when you're in battle mode, battle mode turns off. If you hold aux and swing when you're not in battle mode, you activate battle mode. Um, so I'll do, so you'll hear my force sound. So I'm using a force sound essentially to, to signify it. That way it's kind of hidden, so it's not like a beep or some loud noise. Um, so now battle mode is deactivated, and now I can use my power button. And then if I want to go back into battle mode, I either could just swing on. If you swing on, it's automatic. Or you can hold the locks and swing again. And that's a different force sound, but now battle mode is reactivated. So I'll get my, all my controls back. And so you get all your controls back when you're in battle mode. Um, and then if you don't deactivate battle mode and you want to retract your blade, it's just a twist. And a twist is a quick back and forth motion. And now, you've now you have the, the saber retract. So in battle mode, it's not a power button to, to retract the blade. It's a twist. Um, and then you still have your swing on. 
um, and anytime you swing on, whether or not battle mode was active, it's going to activate. Um, so um, this is going to be part of the alpha testing. I have a longer demo video um, with more explanation um, and running through a few other options because there's, there's a few things that also uh, work with this. Um, but I wanted to give kind of a quick introduction. Um, if you have, if you want to do alpha testing for Prop EOS 5, definitely check out the alpha testing thread on TRA. I'll have the link. Um, but now you can play around with this. Um, and the idea being, when you're in battle mode, um, you don't need to use your, but your buttons to be able to do a lot of these uh, actions. It makes the saber feel more realistic. Um, and I've made the controls as tuned in as I can. Now, there are some thresholds that you'll set because everybody's hilt and setup are different. Um, so that'll be in the explanation. Um, and the demo video will have a little more on that as well. So uh, definitely check out the longer video on my YouTube channel. Go over to the TRA uh, thread for alpha testing. Um, and I'll also have some additional links um, for the information. But if this tests out and proves, there's a chance that some of these options might become default on the OS. Um, for testing, um, I decided let's just keep it as battle mode. That way people can check both things out easily. And then uh, it'll ultimately be, you know, what we get feedback-wise and then also Frederick's decision if this becomes default or not. Um, part of me likes it as a mode because it still gives you the option to go back to the old way if you wanted to. Um, but uh, definitely... I've got it working really well. It's ready for everybody to start messing around with with part of the alpha testing. If you're tested and you find anything um, not working correct or you run into any bugs, uh, definitely report on the TRA thread because um, you're not only alpha testing this stuff, you'll also be alpha testing the other changes for OS 5, which are listed on the thread. Um, so cool stuff coming. Um, I'm really excited about this, especially now that we've got the drag and melt uh, more intuitive. And I uh, hope you enjoy.